knocked out power to more than 5,000 people across northeast Ohio with the bulk in Cuyahoga County. And we've gotten lots of reports of spinouts and accidents on the roads. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin joins us live in Cleveland. Michael, what have you been seeing tonight? You know, I can tell you, Sarah, we were driving along 480. We saw plenty of cars spinning out. We saw plenty of cars that were stuck in the snow. And this snow can be kind of deceiving here. As I scoop some of this up right here, it's really that slushy stuff. And when you talk about being on the roads, this can be really deceiving tonight. This poor guy is having a tough night. He said someone cut him off, then he lost control of his truck in the snow, which had it in the wrong direction of I-480 East. This person needed a tow truck after his car got stuck at the state road exit on 480. Basically, it's pretty bad outside. It's uh, the wind gusts are kind of kicking up there. Um, you want to take it slow, be careful. Feel bad for everybody who drives for a living. The roads are a mess. So why would anyone want to travel in it? For Jess Kathy, it's those dang red box fees. Money's tight. Money's tight for everybody. I'm not the only one. So what was the movie that forced him to go into the messy weather? Apartment 1303. Don't rent it. Jess wonders if Mother Nature is out renting her own movies with all these weather changes. The weather over the last week, we've had summer, we've had winter, we've had spring, and we've had fall. Ask yourself, do you feel like Jess's wife? I am so done. So done. It's enough. No more snow. <laughs> in case you're going to be driving, ODOT has 50 trucks out and they did not pre-treat the roads, mainly because of the rain that came before the snow. Right now we're just patrolling and that means we're looking for spots that may freeze and those first spots to freeze are always our overpasses and bridge decks because the air circulates all the way around them. They do freeze before the rest of our roadways. You know, another thing that ODOT says is that you should give yourself some distance between you and the car in front of you if you're going to be driving tonight. One more thing I want to say, you know, the snow is kind of deceiving to me. It's a little heavier than I thought, but if you're going to be out shoveling tomorrow before church, have fun and good luck to you. We're live on your side of Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.